Hi and welcome back to Special Collections. So this next item has a really interesting connection to Mary Church Terrell. It's from the Wilma Dykeman and James R. Stokely Jr. Collection. And it's a report entitled Segregation in Washington. It was released in 1948 by the National Committee on Segregation in the nation's capital. And the report compiles detailed factual information about discrimination in the District of Columbia. Um, the hope here was that by challenging segregation in the capital, it would set precedence in the rest of the country. As you can see, it has these wonderful infographics that accompany the text, and um, it covers several areas of discrimination and segregation, including public facilities, housing, health care, employment, and government services. So the report received significant national attention and spurred local activists to rally around one of the report's revelations which um, is found here. You can see under A, law disappears. Um, this explains that legislation had been passed in the late 1800s which gave black people equal rights to all public places, including restaurants and hotels, and that these lost laws had never been repealed. In response, Terrell, who at the time was in her late 80s and of course was a longtime DC resident, was asked to chair the coordinating committee for the enforcement of DC anti-discrimination laws. Um, the committee was there to make sure that these lost laws were brought to the public's attention and that they were enforced. She and committee supporters picketed stores and restaurants which would not integrate and she eventually initiated legal action against a local cafeteria. The case went to the Supreme Court and in 1953, the court upheld the lost laws and ended segregation in all Washington, D.C. establishments.